I've got a rule. Well, I've got lots of rules. But number one rule is do not track your own car. Amazingly, companies like Jaguar let you track theirs. You can come here to a place like Sydney's Eastern Creek and you can drive a whole bunch of Jaguars. It's called the Art of Performance. Coming soon to a racetrack near you, Art of Performance is about getting you on track in a Jaguar, whether you own one or not. You'll get one-on-one -on -one coaching with one of Jaguar's team of experienced driver trainers, and some of them are racing drivers. It's meant to be fun, and they make sure it's fun. Even the safety briefing has plenty of laughs. Just turn up. The Art of Performance team looks after the helmets and gets you out on the track. First car of the morning for me is one of my favourites, the Jaguar F-Type SVR. I've always wanted to drive one of these around a track. It's just, it's absolutely one of my favourite cars ever. Like it's in that top five garage kind of car. Yep. Yep. Yes, you can feel that. Yeah. What I'm learning here is about the torque vectoring and the way you can get on the power so early in this car. Now, I've always known about it. I haven't been able to articulate it, but having it explained to you, that's what makes the difference. And when you know what's happening in the car, as I'm discovering, that when I get on the power nice and early, it brings the nose in. It just makes that punch out of the corner so much better and the confidence it gives you once you know what it is that's the key and that's what's great about these days I know I say this every time I'm out here on a track but when you learn what the car's doing rather than feeling it and going oh that's unfamiliar what does that mean but when you know what it means you suddenly you're gonna lose seconds off your off your lap time easily and I'm able to throw the car around a bit more and concentrate more on the braking. But also, the best thing about being early on the power is listening to that V8. <laughs> it is in my top three engines of all time. It's such a fantastic bellowing sound. And what's amazing about this car is this is a road car and it is taking an absolute pounding today. And it's fine. The tyres are hanging in there, even as they heat up. You can feel it gripping more. The brakes are hauling us down from well over 200 kilometres an hour every time, no problem. Hard breaking into one. Just building confidence and being able to do that, you know, on a Thursday morning at a great racetrack. And for the money Jaguar charges, which is a lot less than everybody else, and there's none of this working your way up through the rank stuff. What a tremendous thing to do. You don't just get to drive one car, there's four, and it's broken up into four 20 minute sessions. The current program includes the lovely F-Type SVR and its glorious supercharged V8, the XE300 Sport with its 300 horsepower Ingenium turbo petrol engine and a lovely all-wheel drive chassis. There's also the F-Type with a supercharged V6 and then there's the big fella, the XJR575, the last of the line and the last petrol powered XJ before its all electric replacement. Long, sleek, rear wheel drive. I am going to miss this car and it's fast. Oh, and there's a slightly scaled down version of a Formula E car. If you can fit, it was a bit of a squeeze for me. I was also lucky enough to pilot the all-electric I-Pace around the track. That was weird. I've written about that. And finally, this bad boy.
the XE Project 8. I actually got to drive it, but I was concentrating so hard I forgot to speak, so you'll have to read what I write about it on theredline.com.au. It's bristling with aero, has that mighty 700 horsepower V8, but in this car, there's no back seat. Instead, there's a half cage, and to save weight, there is carbon fiber everywhere. At the end of each day, you can go for a ride with one of the instructors in one of the cars. I was outrageously lucky and got to go for a ride in the Project 8 with Tony Dalberto. He's been racing cars for 16 years. Well, actually, he's been racing them all his life, so he knows a thing or two about Eastern Creek. Do I have to give someone something they'll remember till the day they die? No. <laughs> I don't know if it's that exciting, but... Oh, it is. Let me tell you. Going out in a car like this with a, guy, with a driver like you, always. Jeez, I've got a lot to live up to. <laughs> I yeah, remember. She's a beautiful car. It's quite lively in many ways. That's what I like about it. about them they're just exciting even when you're not racing like I just love being at them but to be able to go around a track in cars that mostly I've already driven and finding what they're like on the track is amazing and this is the key and I've already said this this is the key for doing a day like this particularly if you own a Jaguar you've bought this car you can probably only use 20 30 percent of it when you leave today when you leave a day like this, and it's another 500 bucks, when you're spending that, when you're spending money on a Jag, it's another 500 bucks. When you leave a day like today, you know so much more about the car, and I think that's really exciting, and I think that's, you know, great for Jaguar owners, but if you're not a Jaguar owner, and you want to know what the cars are like, 500 bucks gets you into the top tier of these cars. Now, I was extraordinarily privileged to be able to drive the, uh, the Project 8, and not everyone gets to go in one of those, but, be able to drive a car I love so much, the F-Type SVR, and to drive the Project 8, well, <laughs> what a day. 